Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Thank you for the love and support. You know, you're just pushing out love and light and just being positive and heading towards a positive path. And seeing that you're going through this and knowing that you're going through this makes me so happy for you. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell right down there at the bottom so you know I'm about to upload my next video and if you're comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and you know, putting you towards a positive direction. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the music that I am listening to today is called Sofigo 528 Hertz plus 963 Hertz Raise Your Positive Vibration Miracle Tones. I was doing this for like 20, 30 minutes and it felt so good because I started feeling like I was getting a headache. So, you know, I went ahead and listened to that just to, you know, just to balance myself out. But um, the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101 Empaths. Uh, Twin Flame 101 Empaths, when you start seeing people's true intentions, oh Jesus, it can be a good thing, it can be a blessing and a curse, and y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, that made my eye itch on that, and y'all know what I'm talking about. Because it's like, it can be a hurtful thing going through stuff. Let me turn it down a little bit going through stuff and you know you really feeling like oh, okay this it could be family members it could be your spouse it could be a boyfriend or girlfriend it could be your best friend it could be somebody that you call family that's not really family you're like oh my god you know but it's a blessing when you go through awakening and yeah you might lose friends along the way you might even lose family members like in distance i'm not talking about in death but you know you go through that as well you know that's the circle of life but you know seeing people's true intention for what they are is like after we go through the spiritual awakening we start seeing things like you you looking like that is like having a fresh fresh pair of eyes like you don't see it the way you used to see things i know i don't i don't know about you but i know i don't and it's just like that because it's always been like that it's like you can be going down the same street every day and all of a sudden like two or three days you didn't go by and poof there's a, a store right there that you never noticed before it'll be something that's it you know that you always been this way and it's just something that threw you off that you never noticed that was there that was there this whole time but you just didn't see it and that's how life is that's how it is with people that you can be talking to these people every day and it just takes that one situation just to make you look at things different but even though it might be a traumatic situation it could be a blessing as well because that that person could not mean you any good in your life that person can mean could be there to be blocking your blessings because people are assigned to people to block their blessings because with you being who you are you are something great okay you are something very great because you in life are serving a purpose having you know you're putting your 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 mark on the world on doing something positive to push out something positive so evil does not want to see that happen so they bring people into your life to hurt you to deceive you to steal from you rob from you it ain't got to be belonging it could be your spirit it could be your energy you could be around certain people and you know what i'm talking about and drain the holy heck out of you You're like wait a minute what happened or you be in fight or flight mode, like you ready to get the hell on about to fight them just to get the hell on. You know what I'm talking about, but it, it's just like it's a blessing. It, it's a, a curse when you have been around these people for years and months at a time and never thought that these people would be that way towards you. Or there could be, uh, you know, family members can be the same way or whatever, but then there always could be an upside, you know. 
it's a good thing you're able to see this so you can stop it in the butt. So if things have been happening to you, like, you know, you're falling short on your energy, bad luck's happening to you, you know, blessings are being blocked. Those are the reason why. But then you also see the people that you really probably weren't paying attention to that were truly supposed to be in your life. And, you know, you weren't paying attention to it. It was that, that, that store that you weren't paying attention to, or it was that big tree right there on the corner that you weren't paying attention to that's always been there so you know look out for the signs and pay attention to the energies like you, that you get because you know i was having a discussion with a good friend of mine about that you know just about energies that that people can give off and you try not to really see things that way because you know as us empaths our Achilles is always trying to see the good in things and always hoping either it'll change or maybe you were seeing it wrong or maybe you were having a bad you know you'll give yourself excuses when you see things and you're trying not to see it so it's like you got to pay attention to that gut feeling if you, you feel something odd about a person or you feel like that jolt of energy that just saying something right you gotta go by that gut instinct don't don't fight that <laughs> do not fight that because you'll end up you'll end up regretting that later so pay attention to those signs and you know be good to yourself it's okay we all go through meeting people for a lesson or a blessing they're always supposed to bring something to our life so It'll either make us learn or make us experience or make us grow or all in one. <laughs> so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Please know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'm sending them out as much uplifting abundance and healing vibes and uplifting vibes and loving vibes if you truly need it. And... I'm giving a shout out, post notification shout out. Who am I giving it to today? Um, Miss Joan Cummings. Much love to you, sis. I hope you're having a blessed day and having a relaxing one, and you're, you know, you're enjoying your time off. So I will see y'all later. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just telling me about your empathic gift. You know, give me a thumbs up. Like and even share on your social media favorites. Know that you are blessed, truly loved, and highly favored once again. And stay prosperous. Be safe and be responsible. Much love to you. Peace. And be wild.